All right. All right. Uh, Shalom, Makim. Uh, first and foremost, I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory uh, to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechach Kodash. All right. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone, which rule well. And I want to give uh, peace, greetings, and salutations to all the Lagakim that's pushing his word and uh, truth and sincerity, you know, throughout the four corners of the earth. You know, and the brothers that's not wavering in the faith, you know, being diligent in his truth. You know, I say shalom to you, brothers, you know, and I say shalom, you know, to the few sisters that believe and all meekness and humbleness. You know, I say shalom, you know, uh, I'm your brother Zakaria from GMS Miami camp and Lord willing, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Recha Kodash. You know, uh, Adawan Rathaza, you know, that means Lord willing, you know, so Lord willing his lesson. It's edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel, you know. And my lesson today, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Kakadash, is going to be basically an open forum, you know, of various topics. You know, I'm going to just roll through the spirit a little when it's edifying, man. We see these prophecies, you know, popping off, man. All right, the, the words of Yahweh, Bahashem, Bahashem, that's written in the Bible, all right, they're coming to pass, man. All right, as the scripture says, let's start off with this. I was going to start off with Second Ezra's 5, but let's get this. Um, Bear with me. Second Peter. Yeah, we got a more sure word of prophecy. This is book of Second Peter, chapter one, and verse nineteen. It says we have also a more sure word of prophecy. So we have a more sure word of prophecy. We see these things happening. We see the, the prophecies that Yahweh I Shai uh, had holy men write down come into pass, man. All right, the uproars of the people, the pestilence, all right, the famines, all right. These things were signs that was going to happen before our Lord returns. And they're happening on a, on a large uh, scale, man. It says we have also a more sure word of prophecy where two ye do well that ye take heed in what you have to take heed unto these words man as the scripture says hold up let me get this this book of hebrews chapter 2 verse 1 it says therefore we ought to give the more earnest heed to the things which we have heard least at any time we shall let them slip so we got to give the more earnest heed to the things which we heard all right from our apostles and elders of the great millstone all right the true doctrine therefore we ought to give the more earnest heed to the things which we have heard at least at any time we should let them sleep slip man all right because you're not watching are right? you you you're you're immersed in the in this worldly affairs all right you're not going to take heed until what you was taught and you're going to slip and ultimately the lord's going to cast you out all right so we ought to take heed. It says, I'll read it again. Second Peter chapter one, verse 19 it says, we have also a more sure word of prophecy. Whereunto ye do well that ye take heed. All right. To these words, man. As unto a light that shineth in a dark place. Until the day dawn and the day star arise in your hearts. And who? That's our Lord Yahweh Shai, the morning star. All right. All right. Because this place is full of darkness. All right. The scripture say gross darkness to people. This book of uh, Isaiah 24, and that's one in Psalms 82. Bear with me. The whole world is out of course all right it's not one of gross darkness those are two those are good ones too okay yep isaiah 60 i start at verse one isaiah chapter 60 verse one it says arise shine for thy light is come and the glory of the lord is risen upon thee so the lord our Lord Yahweh Shai is the light way he gave us this truth. Our which we have a light. All right. That's why we are illuminated. The Lord said, uh, uh, a light upon the hill, you know, shall not be hid. You know, roughly paraphrasing, man. All right. We got to let our light shine before men. All right. Verse two, it says, for behold, the darkness shall cover the earth and dark. It's like in gross darkness, the people 
but the Lord shall rise upon thee and his glory shall be seen upon thee. So this world is full of gross darkness, but the Lord has his light shining upon us, man. That's why we're able to see. That's why we're able to, to understand uh, these prophecies, man. All right. All right. Second Peter chapter two, verse one. Sorry, second Peter chapter one, verse 20. All right, it says, knowing this first, that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation. So is that of any private inter in private interpretation? The scriptures are plain. Verse 21 says, for the prophecy came not in, in old time by the will of man, but holy man of the most high spake as they was moved by the Holy Spirit. So the Lord has holy man that has the Harakakwadash, the Holy Spirit on them. I right, to write these things down for us. All right, they was moved by the Holy Spirit, man. They, uh, the more the Lord spake to them, man. All right, all right. This book of Psalms, chapter sixty-eight, and verse eleven. The Lord Yahweh Bashimah Shah gave the word. Great was the company of those that published it, which made it public, man. So the Most High gave the word. He put the uh, gave them the prophets the visions of, of these last days. All right, the events that was going to happen, and they wrote them down. They made it. They made it public. All right. So this is all about the will of Yahweh Bashimel Shai, and we have a more sure word of prophecy, man. All right. So this is Book of Second Ezra chapter five and verse one says, "Nevertheless, as coming the tokens." But if you read in the the hard copy, all right, the the book, the actual book, it says, "As concerning the tokens, which concern as the." As concerning the tokens, the word tokens mean like signs. As concerning the signs that was going that that's going to happen, it says, "Behold, the day shall come that they which dwell upon earth shall be taken in a great number." That's talking about what mass death. All right, mass death. A lot of people are gonna get put to death, man. All right, it says, "In the sorry, uh, they that they which dwell upon earth shall be taken in a great number, and the way of truth shall be hidden." And the land shall be bearing the faith. So the way of truth is going to be hidden. What is that going into? That's going into the family of the word. You can already see uh, Esau eating the so-called white man. All right, they're deleting brothers' videos because he's ultimately leaving to the family of the word, which the, which the Bible uh, prophesied of. All right, the Lord said this was going to happen in the last days. All right, they going since they don't want to hear the truth while it's available. All right, when the Lord take us out off the street, started with our apostle Elder Great Missile, these people they're going to be trying to search for us, but they ain't going to find us. Amos 8 and 11 says, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord power, Yahweh Shemashai, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. So it is, the Lord prophesied that it's going to be an actual famine, but then it's going to be an actual, I mean, an actual famine, like no food, no water, but then there's going to be a famine of the word. You're not going to be able to hear these words on a large scale as you see it right now, because you can go on Google, you can go on any website, Type in Hebrew Israelites, any platform, social media, and you'll be edified. All right. But soon they're going to cut all that off, man. All right. And what are they going to do? Verse 12, it says, and they shall wander from sea to sea. And from the sorry, and from one sorry, and from the north, I'll read again, Amos 8 and 12. It says, and they shall wander from sea to sea and from the north, even to the east. So they're going to run all over, man. They shall run to seek the word of the Lord and shall not find it. All right. So they're going to try to seek the Lord, but they're not going to find it. That's what the Lord told our people to do. What? Isaiah chapter 55 verse 6 it says, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. So you got to seek the Lord now. All right. You got to seek the Lord now. Because why? You're not going to be able to find the prophets in those days, man. All right. Uh, this is the book of uh, Ezekiel. Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 26. And I will make thy tongue cleave to the roof of thy mouth, and thou shalt be dumb, and thou sh shalt not be to them a reprover, for they are a rebellious house. So the prophets, the Lord's going to have the prophet's tongue cleave to the roof of their mouth. That means they're going to be silent. All right, they're not gonna. We're not gonna be teaching. We're not gonna be prophesying because the prophecy is gonna be popping off. The MOTB. All right, World War Three gearing up, famines. All right, all right. This was this was we coming into man. 
All right, she said, the prudent man shall keep quiet. This is Amos 5 and 13. Therefore, the prudent shall keep silent in that time, for it is an evil time. So the prophets, we're going to keep silent in that time. Because why? It's going to be bad times, man. All right? So the land's going to be bearing the faith. But the Lord said, when he returns, shall he find faith on the earth? Who's going to find? Who's going to have the faith? The elect. Because the scripture said, the just shall live by his faith. And faith is a gift. Verse 2, it says, but iniquity shall be increased above that which now thou seest or that thou has heard long ago so iniquity is going to increase and what this was during the time of what was this ezra with the uh medial persian empire the persian empire all right so it, how much more now all right you had the greeks you had the greeks ruling iniquity increased the romans iniquity increased then what you had our people that uh, the Byzantine Empire, the Dark Ages, and what you had Esau come back in in power right now, man. All right. The the ten toes. All right. Esau Edom coming back in his powers. All right, iniquity's increasing. This is one of the signs that the Lord said, Matthew 24 and verse 3. It says, um, and as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming in the, in the world? So the disciples asked the Lord, What's going to be the sign of your coming, your second return, and the end of the world? End of the world? That word world is eon, meaning a certain ruler's time of rulership, man. All right? And he goes on the wars, the rumors of wars, nations shall, uh, kingdom against kingdom, famine, pestilence. And then what he said, he said, Verse 12, it says, and because the iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. So that's one of the signs. What? Iniquity's going to be increased. All right. Second edge of five verse two, it says, but iniquity shall be increased above that which now thou seest or that thou hast heard long ago. So that's going to be one of the signs, man. All right. And we living in these times. You see people killing each other. All right. Running over people. Uh, murder, suicides. That's iniquity increased. You see the abomination people all over the earth. Started with Esau, Edom, that's pushing his wicked agenda. All right, these are the signs. Verse 3, it says, In the land that thou seest now to have root, shalt thou see wasted suddenly, meaning America. This space going to get hit with 200 million nuclear warheads. And we see the, the armies gearing up for war. We see, all right, these nations making um, deals against America. Which these deals, bricks and all those things Is just going to lead to World War 3 And the scriptures prophesy Of a third world war Alright, the second war is passed Behold, the third woe coming quickly Meaning World War 3 John the Revelator on the island of Patmos said it And he prophesied it, you know So this land is bearing the face And a lot of people are going to die A lot of people are going to get put to death But the Lord, he's going to have his prophets I hidden in those times There's going to be a famine or word These prophecies are speaking, we have a also a more sure word of prophecy all right we see these things and they're gonna happen all right whether these people believe it or not that's why the lord told us to talk to israel whether they were here or whether they will forbear man you know so we have we see what's going on and the prophecy is going to stand all right these people they're not uh two-thirds going they don't get cut off and die in this place the lord is only dealing with the lack of israel and this land going to be destroyed because why? It's full of wickedness, man. All right. So, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying to the elect of the nation Israel. And I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, and Chakwadash. All right. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone, which rule well. And I want to give all peace, greetings, and salutations to all the Lekakim that's pushing his word and truth and sincerity. Hey, Shalom, Akim, keep pushing, keep doing. Shalom.